Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 22538. Of course, I've just installed it. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed in this new build and so on. Before talking about anything, please don't forget to leave a like down below as it helps me a lot. And also, if you want, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to stay notified with all these videos that I do about Windows in general and stuff like that. So thank you all who are doing that. Before talking about the changes, improvements and fixes, I just want to point out that this is the first build that is kind of buggy for me. As you can see, the taskbar and the system tray is kind of bugged. I have the icons somewhere around the top with a arrow that is not working and a uh, Windows 10 themed arrow that we, I can find here. Of course, we are on the dev channel, so we are expecting issues like this, but uh, hopefully Microsoft fixes this really soon and hopefully we can find a solution to this, uh, I can say, weird bug. First First of all, in build 22538, we have some updates for voice access. So if you want to see more about this, you can check out previous videos. But in this build, Microsoft introduced the touch keyboard with voice access. So you can use the touch keyboard with voice access to spell words, name, email addresses, enter numbers, enter punctuation marks and symbols, and also enter emojis. If you want to learn more about this, check out the article down below in the description where you will have more info and also the link to the official Microsoft Microsoft blog that tells you more about this. Other things that we can note in terms of changes and improvements in this build, the updated entry point for widgets, which is the new weather widget that we have on the left side, is now available for all Windows Insiders. For those of you who watched previous videos, Microsoft introduced this only to a few Insiders, then introduced it to all Insiders, then turned it back around, and uh, it was kind of messy, but now finally they tell us that this widget is available for everyone in the dev channel. Now in Alt Plus tab, Task View and Snap Assist, the focus rectangle that shows what is selected will now use your chosen accent color on your PC and I think that is really really good. If you are on the dev channel and you don't have this new Alt Plus tab design, you can check out one of my previous videos where I showed you how to enable this if you are on the dev channel because this feature or this design change is not yet available for all Windows and Saturdays in the dev channel. I think I'll leave you a link down below in the description to that article or video. Another interesting update in this build is that the updated IMEs and touch keyboard designs will now show on the lock screen and where you enter your account information such as usernames and passwords. This change is currently rolling out to a subset of Windows and Setters, so if you don't have it, you just need to wait a bit because Microsoft is still not rolling this to every Windows Insider. Microsoft is also rolling out the ability for voice typing to download speech packs from the Microsoft Store for device-based speech recognition that provides a better performance of transcription that is really good. Also in this build, Microsoft is experimenting with improving the discoverability of certain input features in various areas across the OS. Also, for those who need it, you can access ncpa.cpl directly again, which is a control panel item, and uh, it's actually a very old one, but I'm sure that Microsoft will soon move this to the new settings app. But it's good to know that you can still access this in this build. Regarding Hyper-V, Microsoft added HTTPS but for Hyper-V generation 2 VMs. This feature is enabled by default. For PCs that support it, display calibration is now directly available under settings, display HDR instead of having to open a separate settings page, which is again really, really good. These are basically all the changes and improvements for this Windows 11 Insider preview build, but now let's just talk about some fixes. Of course, I'm not going to talk about all the fixes that you can find in this build, but if you want to see the whole list of fixes and also known issues, you can check out the article down below in the description. So for example, now pressing the hardware buttons for volume up and down should no longer cause the explorer.exe to crash for some insiders. Also, they fixed an issue that was causing some insiders to see text and settings and other places mixed up in the previous flight, so now this should no longer be the case. Of course, we also have some file explorer, taskbar, settings, input widgets, and more fixes, but as I've said, if you want to see the whole list, you can go and check out the article down below and also for the known issues if you're interested. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe because tomorrow we'll have a very interesting video coming up about a new design for the task manager in Windows 11 that was found in this build. So you can enable that by running some commands, but I'm going to show you that in the tomorrow's video. So as I've said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the article down below. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.